Okay, for our very simple beginner project, we're going to make a crossbody purse. This is what we call a sewing pattern. It's a guideline for cutting your fabric out. We're going to do this in a little in interesting way. Um, we're going to take the fabric and lay it out. And I want you to lay it out so that the back of the fabric is facing you. I laid it out this way so you could see. I found an old curtain, and that's what I'm going to reuse to make my crossbody purse. So if I flip it over, I'm going to look at the back of the fabric, which actually looks kind of interesting too. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pattern, and I'm going to, with a pencil, don't use a marker, not a good idea, with a pencil, I'm going to trace exactly this outline onto my fabric. I'm going to go all the way around, try to make it nice and dark so I can really see. So the line that I'm drawing is going to become my stitching line. It's what I'm actually going to sew on when I go to the sewing machine. So I have a guideline and I can get straight lines and it makes it a little bit easier. Now this crossbody purse is pretty simple. It's easy to make, make it your own by adding decorations and different designs to it. But I'm just going to show you the basic one. All right, so hopefully you can see I've got a nice outline there of my crossbody purse. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a yardstick and I'm going to create an outline that I'm going to cut on. Because I'm cutting on this, I'm going to use a marker. That way it'll show a little bit better on your video. It also shows better when you're trying to cut it. So I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to stay about a half an inch away from the edge and make a nice long straight line like that. Okay. I'm going to do it on all four sides, about a half inch away from that line that I drew with the pencil. Draw one here. And last, I'll do one here. So now I have what I'm going to call my cutting line. That's what I'm going to cut my fabric on. Now, to make the crossbody purse, you're going to need two layers of fabric. So I'm going to cut this one. This is my outside layer. I'm going to do this one first. And notice I'm cutting on the black line, not cutting on the pencil line. I'm cutting on the marker line. Almost there. One more cut to go. It always helps to have a nice sharp pair of sewing shears that no one has been cutting paper with, so they're not dull. Okay, so this piece of fabric is going to be the outside of my purse. I need a second layer. So for my second layer, I think what I want to do is I'm just going to use this other side because the fabric is a little bit different. I think it'll be interesting. All right. So what I can do now is I can use my first piece of fabric as my pattern shape. So I'm going to hold it down with some straight pins so that it doesn't move and it stays nice and still while I'm cutting it. And I'm going to cut the second piece of fabric. That's going to be my purse lining. Same size as the first one. Again, I just found an old curtain to cut this from. You can repurpose any kind of fabric you like. Even an old pair of blue jeans can be used to make a cute little crossbody purse. All you have to do is get it to a flat place so that you can work with it. Okay, so now every time you sew something, you always want to sew with your fabrics inside out. Okay, so this is going to be the front. This is going to be, let's see, I want this to be my lining. Okay. So I'm going to put the two good sides facing each other. This is what I want to be on the outside when I finish. It's inside out. I'll use some straight pins again to hold this together so that it doesn't shift while I'm sewing. Because fabrics tend to do that if you don't make them stay. They may move around just a little bit. So it'll probably take you about four or five pins to hold it together nice and tightly. You don't want to pin anywhere near your, your pencil line because that's where you're going to be sewing. 
and sewing on top of pins can be a real problem, okay? One last thing you're gonna do is we're going to make a mark down here about two inches up from here. I'll put a little X right there and I'll put another little X right there. That's gonna be the place where, that we use to turn our fabric right side out. And you'll see that when we get to the sewing machine. So let's take a walk to the machine, let's see what happens. Now I'm still gonna use black thread so that you can see, but really, if you're doing a finished product, you want to sew with something that matches your fabric. All right, so we're gonna start sewing. And we're gonna lower the presser foot here, right where the first X is. See the second X is back there? We're gonna start on the first X. We're gonna sew straight line, straight stitches, so I'm on number two. And I sew forward and backwards so I can make a knot. And I'm gonna stay on that pencil line. As best I can. Now, I'm coming right here to a little turn. Watch what happens when you get to a corner. You're gonna do what's called a pivot. You put your needle down, lift up your presser foot and turn while the needle's in the fabric, drop it down again and you're gonna sew until the next corner. It's just a couple of stitches. Needle down, press her foot up and turn, drop it down. And we're gonna to go to the next corner where we do the same thing. You're gonna turn the needle down, lift up your presser foot and turn. Stay on your line. Here's my next corner. Needle down, press her foot up and turn. Now I'm getting to that little point where I have to do the zigzag. So there I am at my corner, needle down, I'm turning and pivoting. You go to the next corner, stop with the needle down, turn. So pretty much this is what you do. You go straight and you turn a corner, and you go straight and you turn a corner. That's what the crossbody purse is all about. It's all straight lines. Okay, now we're at a corner again. I'm gonna put the needle down. Turn, and keep going. There's my corner again. I'm almost done. This is my last corner to turn. When I get to that last X, I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna go backwards again. Okay, make sure my take up lever is up. And I've done all my sewing for the outside of my crossbody purse. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little bit of trimming and we turn it right side out. So, first thing you're gonna do is find your corners and you're gonna trim your fabric diagonally across your corners. That just makes it much neater when you turn it right side out. So we've got two more corners over here. Let's do those. All right. Now we have these little indents right here. What you're gonna do is take the point of your scissors and make a clip to the stitches, but don't cut your stitches. Then, do your diagonal cut. Watch that one more time. Clip to, clip to the point, cut it diagonally, and you're all set. Now, if you have a lot of extra fabric outside of your stitches, you probably want to trim that off. It'll just make it look a lot neater for a finished product. So now what I'm going to do is take all my pins out and they should be going in a pin cushion, but I left them over there. So just remember to do that. I'm gonna use this hole right here and I'm gonna turn my fabric right side out. It's kinda of like if you do your laundry and your sock is inside out, same deal. If your fabric is really heavy, if you're using denim, it might give you a little bit of pushback and be hard to do, but you just keep going. Keep pulling and keep pulling. and it's going to come out. Now, when you have it all turned, you want it to look nice and flat. So you're gonna take your fingers and push your corners out, all of the corners, and you're gonna have six corners, actually. 
So you have two corners right there. And we're gonna keep pulling and keep pulling. And now I wanna get these corners done. So I'm gonna stick my hand inside and push. You can also push with the point of a pencil or a pair of scissors, but you don't wanna accidentally cut your corner. So I prefer just pushing with my finger to make my corners come out nice and square. Okay, so there we go. And remember, we had those little pivot points where we cut into them. That's where the flap of your bag is going to tuck in. So there it is, there's one right there. See what happens? That's where we had that little zigzag stitch. So there should be another one right on the other side. And there it is. Okay, so you want to press this down nice and smooth. All right, so we are two, two seams away from having a finished crossbody purse. Now, I want this to be the outside of my purse. And again, we always sew inside out. So I'm going to take this and fold it in half to where those little points are. See where the little things are coming out? I'm going to fold it in half. And I'm going to use my pins again to hold all this together. Now, this is really thick fabric. My pins are having a hard time getting through there. There we go. Now I'm going to sew my two sides together. And again, I can just use a regular straight stitch. So I'm going to come back to the sewing machine and line this up right there. Put the edge of the fabric with the edge of the presser foot. Drop it down. And I'm just going to make some straight stitches. Let's see. Make sure my needle's in the middle. There we go. My fabric is really, really heavy, so I'm going to have to help it out a little bit. There we go. Okay, did anybody notice that I forgot to make a knot at the beginning of that row? I hope you did. Because you definitely want to make a knot at the beginning of your row. There's my knot at the end. Okay, we're going to cut this one off. We're going to sew these two sides together. And you're not going to believe it, but we're almost done. There's my knot for this side. And I'm going backwards. Take up my take up lever and there we go. So now all that's left is to turn the, take my pins out and turn it right side out. And this is the simplest version of the crossbody purse. You can add pockets, you can add ribbons, you can add all sorts of different things to personalize your bag. You can even use fabric paints on it and paint some decorations. So there we go. There's our little crossbody purse. You have a cute little flap on the front that you can personalize. Um, and you can finish it off with a bit of ribbon, a little bit of trim to make a nice long sash. So there we go. You can sew that on there, that on there. I'm just going to pin it real quick because you would want to hand sew this. So I'm going to pin it for you real quick so you can see the finished product and what it looks like. And I'm just using a piece of ribbon. You can use cording. You can use all different kinds of stuff. But there you go. There you have a finished crossbody bag. You can decorate it any way you like, but really nice and easy beginning project.